Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys a quick guide on how to run Windows Server 2022 as a virtual machine using Hyper-V. Now, if you don't already have Hyper-V installed or you're not sure what it is, you can go ahead and watch our video on how to install Hyper-V right here. Now, if you wanna purchase Windows Server for less than retail price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in the first step, we're using Microsoft's Evaluation Center to download the .iso image file. So we'll put that link on the screen right here. So once you're on this page, we're gonna scroll down to get started for free. And we're gonna select the download the ISO button. And from here, all you have to do is enter in this information and click this download now button. So once you've started downloading the image file, we're gonna go into our Windows button, type in hyper, and we're gonna open up the Hyper-V Manager. Now from here, it's pretty straightforward. We're basically just gonna be following along with several different prompts within Hyper-V. So let's get started. So with your machine selected, we're now gonna hit New and Virtual Machine. This is gonna start the Virtual Machine Wizard. So we're just gonna enter in the prompts that it gives us, and this is gonna pull up the Virtual Machine Wizard. So we'll start with Next, and here we can give it a name, and we'll just enter Server, 2022. Now, if you check this box right here, you could store the virtual machine in a specific location if you wanted a home for it. I'm just gonna leave it as default. So we'll click next. And since we're using Windows 2022 server, we're gonna click generation two and we'll press next. And in this window, we're gonna be assigning memory. Now you can always increase this if you have sufficient RAM on your host computer. But in my case, I'm just gonna use this as the default. Now in this window, we have configure networking. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it as not connected. Now on this page, we have a couple of storage settings. So notice right here, it says we have dynamically expanding virtual hard disk. So what that means is that it's not going to take 127 gigabytes, but rather that's the cap. So if I only have four gigabytes of data, that's all the storage that this is gonna be taking up. Now we can also use a virtual hard disk or attach a virtual hard disk later, but we're gonna go ahead and create one and we're gonna leave this as default and I'll press next. Now this is where we're gonna grab that ISO image file of server 2022. So I'll select the next option right here and we'll browse, go to downloads, and this is my image file right here. So we'll press open and we'll press next. And now with this finish button, it's gonna to start to create our virtual machine. Now you can see it in my Hyper-V manager and I just double clicked it and now it's gonna start booting it up for the first time. So as you can see, it prompted me to press any key to begin. And now we just have to set up the operating system. So I'll leave this as is and press next and install now. Now we have some choices as far as our operating system goes. We have the data center or standard operating system. And for this virtual machine, I want the standard with the desktop experience. So we'll select that and press next. Accept the agreement. And for this option, I'm gonna select the custom option where we only want to install the server operating system. And we're gonna let this load, so I'll see you guys when it's finished loading. All right, so it's just finished loading, and now all we have to do is set a password and press finish. And just like that, I have successfully booted into Windows Server 2022 using a virtual machine. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop us a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And if you're interested in picking up some Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.